Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. This is another Tesco family grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what we bought and what we're eating for the week ahead, then keep watching. So hi everyone, I hope you are doing okay. Here in the UK, we've had a bit of a warm week this week and oh, it's lovely. I will tell you that. Oh, and I was wondering whether or not you'd be able to see this, but you can, so that's all right. I'm not, I was gonna say I have got clothes on. Um, but yeah, as per the CMA guidelines, I'm required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, this has all been bought with my own money. So if you're new to these videos, I'll run you through everything that I bought and then I will share our meal plan at the end, which will also be in the description bar below. So let's get started. So this is today's shop and it's quite a big one just because of Bill's birthday party, which is quite exciting slash daunting because wow, there's going to be a lot of kids in my house on Saturday, but let's just start with the fruit and veg as normal and then we will go into everything else. So we have bananas, apples, uh, satsumas, pineapple, lemons, two are they garland melons? I think they're my favourite, possibly. Let's check. Nope, they don't have a label. I like these ones. <laughs> um, we have strawberries. You get 25% off with the club card. Raspberries are the same. And blueberries, which Mark has already stolen because this shop has come really early at like half eight in the morning. Asparagus, two packs. Tender stem broccoli, red onions, two baking potatoes, peppers, two cucumbers and then loads of tomatoes a because i'm making bruschetta with most of them but b i'm just loving tomatoes because they're so seasonal and gorgeous at the moment i can't help myself um baby cucumbers parsley coriander and basil four avocados these were on offer at the moment for like less than 50p each um and they're going to be used in two separate recipes one two for one and two for the other chilies baby mushrooms two large garlic bulbs and then we've got two um, packs of sweet corn and um, frozen normally works out cheaper but these were on offer again this week and I swear they were like something like 50p each so I got them fresh um store cupboardy bits mint Frank's red hot wings we're gonna do um chicken wings again and then I've got the um, Levi Roots Reggae Reggae Jerk Barbecue for the kids and um, it is a little bit spicy but they're all right with spice and I thought it would be nice to try something different got some tomato puree mild tandoori curry powder sweet corn I saw the I was um, searching for Polish and then loads of Polish food came up and then I was like, oh, that's really interesting. I don't often buy from like that section. Let's have a look. And these are called Zloty, I think, and they're like um, Polish noodles. So I thought I would give those a go, given that I like noodles anyway. Like a chicken one, like quite small, but be good for like one for lunch, I suppose. Um, macaroni, cashew nuts, um, there's my Polish. <laughs> um, we've got some... Pilgrim's Choice, that was on offer, Grana Padano cheese, two packs of halloumi for a recipe, Greek style yogurt, Cheshire butter, this one's really yummy, chicken breast fillets, my phone, um, we have two packs of chicken wings, one for me and Mark, one for the kids, so I will season them differently, um, really, really affordable and everybody enjoys them. We've got some lamb mints, um, chocolate filled crepes, Two packs of prosciutto. I ordered a large pack, but these got soaked, so I think I might have actually ended up with a little bit more. Uh, salami, ham, and a toasty. And then for the kids over here, um, oh, actually, freezer stuff. Fries and prawns. I've um, got some Kinder cards. They were on offer. Go, go, squeeze. We're also on offer. Muller corners. We're on offer. Um, pork cocktail sausages were on offer. The fruit hearts were on offer. The strawberry peelers were on offer. And pepperamis were on offer. And frubes were on offer. These are just normal price. And these were all relatively affordable. But I just thought I would mix it up. Um, they will go so quickly because my children are locusts. So that is all of that. Mark added his big... Um, no caffeine diet coke um and also some dishwasher tablets he went for anti-dull um i'm hoping they were on offer because they look expensive mark taylor um this was also from when i searched for polish and polish food came up um seven days beet roll pizza flavor i just i don't even know what how big they are inside but i was just drawn to them 
kids might like them. Um, these, they just came up and you know like sometimes when you get the occasional ad, um, Lou Le Petit Beurre biscuits with butter and a hint of salt and they just sound really nice with a brew. And I'm not really into biscuits or sweet stuff that much but these, don't know, spoke to me. Um, orange, lemon and pineapple because we've already got cherries and berries in. This is for Bill's party. Um, if you've seen my home bargains haul, you'll know that like I got all the bits from there mainly for like party bags. And we are getting them pizza in after the actual party element itself. But we're also having a sleepover. Um, so basically, for the sleepover in the morning, we've got orange, apple, juices. Um, I've got two packs of chocolate orange pancakes and two packs of buttermilk pancakes. Um, that would be enough for like, two each for eight kids and I'll have something like seven so hopefully that will do and then I'll get fruit out and yogurt and stuff. For the actual party bit I've got lemonade, uh, Vimto, like dupe, orange, like Fanta dupe and then Coke Zero dupe and then I've got two packs of Pringles as well and we have like sweets and popcorn and all that jazz and I'll put fruit out and all that. Um, so that is everything so I'm going to put it away and then run through the meal plan for you. Okay, so on to the meal plan. Um, it runs from Friday to Thursday. So on Friday, I'm going to do two batches of chicken wings. So I'm going to do like um, like hot sauce, like red hot, Frank's red hot sauce <laughs> ones for us. Um, so normally what I would do is that I would roast them in the oven with like chicken seasoning, salt and pepper, um, a little bit of extra oil to get it going. I roast them and then once we are actually ready to eat them then i will put them in for a second time with whatever marinade we're using so with franks you normally mix it with a little bit of butter um and in a pan first and then put it on your chicken wings so that's what i'll do for hours and then for the kids um i'm gonna use the levi roots um reggae reggae barbecue sauce i think but it'll be a similar method so i will roast them first and then do the sauce and um, just because I like roasting them that way because the skin on the chicken wings gets crispier um, and I also feel like they've got more flavour because you season them and cook them that way first. That's what I'm going to do. For the kids I'm doing corn on the cob and fries because it's before a busy night of cobs but for us um, I think I might do like a uh, baked potato because uh, we'll be eating later on when we get back so I might even do some stuffed skins maybe with blue cheese and spring onion because that kind of goes really well with hot sauce and chicken wings that kind of vibe and we will have corn on the cob too so that is Friday. Saturday is Bill's birthday party. Um, so we're having everybody here, sort of, um, and it will be, we're having like a games truck come. Um, there's a few around here. I'm assuming it's a thing everywhere, um, but obviously we're local to Manchester. So we inquired with a few, and then um, actually the most affordable one got back to us first, and we thought, right, we'll go with them. They've got great reviews and stuff. So basically all the boys go into the truck and they can all play like video games together. So there's Fortnite, there's FIFA, there's loads of stuff that they all really enjoy. And they'll be doing that for an hour and a half and then they're going to come in the house they can hang out in here for a bit play and we're going to get them some pizzas from a local pizza place um i've got like all these crisps and dips and if you've seen um my home bargains haul then obviously i got a few bits from there as well um and then once that is all over the closest of his friends um i think it's four of them that are having to sleep over so five, including Bill and Toto, and then obviously Stan and Daisy, they're sleeping over. So I've got popcorn for that, I've got like fizzy drinks for when they have the pizza, I've got Pringles, I've got candy floss, I've got all sorts. Um, so hopefully that goes well. I think it's going to be a very long day. Um, that said, they don't come, it's like four-ish, it starts... Um, so they don't like come until later on which is quite nice really because it leads into the sleepover quite well uh, but it's going to be a busy one and then on Sunday I oh yeah with regards to what we're going to eat obviously Stan and Daisy will eat with Bill's friends I have no idea what Mark and I are going to have it will probably be a takeaway because I feel like by that point in the evening we are going to be absolutely knackered and um, we'll just eat what we eat 
I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I just don't feel like cooking. Plus, because um, our kitchen is like such a social area and it's the biggest area in our house, I imagine everybody will be in here. Um, so I don't want to be like ruining the vibe cooking dinner with like a load of 10 year olds. Um, I'm not sure that will quite hit right with Bill. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. On Sunday, um, I found a creator on TikTok who makes like traditional Turkish dishes i can't remember her name but i will of course link her down below but she said shared something um that she called margarina serinda i think that is how you say it and it is basic honestly when i saw it i was like that is going on my meal plan i have to make that it's basically almost like a turkish version of macaroni cheese but it's more halloumi based for starters which love and uh, there's dried mint in it there's cinnamon there's lamb so you basically make like a bechamel sauce type thing but with cinnamon and mint and halloumi grated into it and um, you do a lamb mix and then you layer like macaroni lamb macaroni and then you like pour all the sauce on top with extra halloumi and stuff it just sounds amazing and i thought that would be a lovely one for sunday because i can't imagine i'll be bothered to make anything too tricky and it seemed like simple but really gorgeous food so that's what i'm gonna make and i'm really excited um monday i thought this was my original idea for sunday but i've moved it to monday now um i could obviously still make some match and move them around it's like this isn't set in stone but one idea for our meal was to make some tomato bruschetta with basil and um, i have extra in my garden that i'm growing um i was going to do garlic prawns garlic baby mushrooms and um, asparagus parma ham and melon like salad and stuff like just a picky one um because well the weather does cool down a bit next week but at the moment i don't know about you when it's really hot i just don't want to cook every single day in that way i'd rather put things together quite quick uh tuesday i'm gonna do tandoori chicken for all of us with some naan and salad and a homemade writer um we we have this a lot but um the kids don't have it this frequently and i thought that they would quite enjoy that um then on wednesday i'm gonna do avocado pesto pasta with salad so it's using the avocados to make the sauce which I thought it'd be quite fun and then on thursday i'm gonna make cowboy caviar and tortilla chips so again this is something i've seen doing the rounds um but it's like a big sort of chopped salad and you generally have it with tortilla chips um and i thought it'd be a really fun way of getting like loads of veg into us because it feels more like a dip and like a bit of a cheat tea but um i mean i'm hoping the kids will like that it might be something that i prepare early on and then if the vibe isn't there, I could always do them something else. But I'm really enjoying, like, trying new things at the moment. And I really enjoy my food, but I also really enjoy variety. So as much as I have children, um, I still want them to try new things, learn about new foods, be, like, not have too many aversions to different things. Even though, like, all three of them have gone through a picky stage, Dan's in that at the moment. Um, I'm just really, like, it's really love to cook and i want to experiment i want to share different foods with them and and try new things with them so i'm hoping that there's a couple of new dishes this week that i hope that, that they might quite like them um so yeah that is everything i hope you found that useful if there are any links they'll be linked down below but if there's any meals in particular that i've shared that you would like me to make um just let me know and i will uh, try and do them try and remember to do them and um yeah have a lovely rest of your day and i will hopefully see you all very very soon